Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Rollinator Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on strata scratch regarding income by title and gender, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. This question has been asked in City of San Francisco interviews, and it is an important question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, PI analyst, or data analyst roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the average total compensation based on employee titles and gender. Total compensation is calculated by adding both the salary and bonus of each employee. However, not every employee receives a bonus. So disregard employees without bonuses in your calculation. Employee can receive more than one bonus. Output the employee title, gender, along with the average total compensation. So basically we are given two data frames, SF employee and SF bonus, and expected output is a pandas series. Uh, actually it is a pandas data frame, so I think this is a typo, with two different columns, employee title, the gender, and the average total compensation. Okay, let's preview the two tables or the two data frames that have been given. So SF employee, it has information about first name, last name, employee title, so employee title and gender. So these are the two columns that we are concerned about. And this table has salary. Okay. Uh, and then there is another data frame SF bonus, which has various worker uh, worker IDs and their bonuses. And the question says that one person can get more than one bonus, right? So if you look at it, right? So worker ID one has 5,000 as well as 4,500. So in total 9,500, if there is no other entry. Yeah. Okay, so what we can do is firstly, we should start with SF bonus and calculate for each of the workers. What is the total bonus that they get? So how can we do that? So from this data frame called SF bonus, we can group by right. So group by the worker referent ID, right? Group by the worker refer ID. And what we can do is we can calculate the sum of the bonus column, right? Because that is the total bonus given to that particular worker. So we write bonus column and you calculate the sum. And since you group by the worker reference ID, so that will become the index. So to, you know, make them appear in the column, we need to reset index, right? So reset index and let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we are having. Okay. So different workers and what is their total bonuses. So now we have this, we, what we can do is we can store this in a data frame called total bonus, right? Okay. Now, once we have this, then what we can do is because the total comp compensation would be salary plus the total bonus, right? So salary is in this SF employee, uh, data frame, right? And we just calculated total bonus as another data frame, right? Using SF bonus. Okay, so what we need, because the information is in two different data frames, we need to merge them, right? So let's write, so merged data frame is equal to pandas.merge, give the first data frame, so SF employee, then uh, the second data frame is total bonus that we just, you know, uh, made, so total bonus. And then since the name of the columns is different in both of this, so we need to write left on and right on. So left on. So in from this SF employee data frame, we need to merge on ID, right? So left on ID and then right on, right? So right on and from the total bonus, only one column we have worker reference ID and the bonus is basically the sum, right? So worker right worker reference id and how do we need to merge it or left join right because we need to keep everything from this and we are just you know merging or getting the information of the bonus from the total bonus data frame so we write how is equal to left right so run this Okay, so now for each of the tables, let's see. Okay, so these are the bonuses. So obviously this, uh, these people, right? So worker ID five does not receive any bonus. Similarly for others, but there are some uh, who receive bonus, right? So th they receive bonus. The question says in exclude people who don't receive bonus to in comparing or in calculating the average compensation, right? So what we can do is we can you know drop the NA, but drop NA from the column bonus, right? So how can we do it? We can do merged DF drop 
na and then we need to drop na based on columns which have null values in the bonus column right so we need how can we do it we need to use subset right so subset is equal to from the bonus column wherever you have null values you drop only those rows and in place is equal to true right so you just drop it and save it back to merge df let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have right okay so this is executed uh, i need to write merged df okay now let me run this okay so now we have only those rows where bonus is given to the employee right so all those nulls are output if you don't write this thing right so if you don't do the subset part here if you just write merged df dot drop na right so because it will you know there are other columns where it is possible to have nulls right so it will also drop these two rows as well you don't need that right so it we don't care whether address is present or not we are only going to care about when the bonus is null right so we don't need to include them because the question says that right so once we have this then what we need to do is we can add the value in the salary as well as the bonus part to get the total compensation right because the total average compensation is by adding the salary and the bonus and then you average it out for each employee title and the gender so we can make a column called total compensation which is basically is equal to merged df column salary plus right plus merged df column bonus okay uh let's me write merge df let's see what we have now uh, so i think we have another column called total compensation and now based on this let's calculate the average total compensation so what we can do is for each employee title and gender we want it right so merge df dot group by then uh, since there are two columns we provide a list so employee title right employee title then by sex right and then for which column do we need to calculate the average total compensation right so total comp and we need to calculate average so dot mean and since we grouped by these two columns they will be in the index we don't want them in the index we want them in columns so we need to write reset index okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having now so now we have audit different employee titles their gender and the total compensation if we match it by our uh, you know expected outputs so if you look at it this is exactly the same okay let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in mysql okay so same question uh, ex same two tables sf employee sf bonus expected output is same as well uh, and then sf employee if we preview this same information right same with uh, the sf bonus table as well uh, let's see preview uh, okay so yeah m multiple uh, rows for it, it is possible to have multiple bonuses for a particular worker right so then again here also we can ap apply the same approach that from this table called sf bonus let's group by right so let's group by the worker ref id right and return the worker ref id and calculate the sum of the bonus column and then alias this as bonus so basically that is the total bonus that that particular worker gets and what we can do is so if i run this right so you have different workers and the total bonus just as we had in python we can save this in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses so once we have this then what we can do is from this table called sf employee let's alias this as s left join the common table expression that we just created let's alias this as c on s dot id right so s dot id is equal to c dot worker ref id uh, you join them and then uh, the question says that we are only interested in those where the bonus is present right or is given to the employee so obviously after this joining uh, you know there would be some employees where the bonus column which comes from cte is going to be null so we don't need that so we can write keep only those rows where c dot bonus is not 
null right so once we have this then what we can do is we can group by right so we can group by the employee title right so employee title comes from uh, sf employee right so s dot employee title then s dot sex so you group by them right uh, and then what we can do is let's return these two columns because we need them in the output and then we need to calculate the average of the salary plus the bonus column that we get after performing the join so what we can write is average of s dot salary plus c dot bonus okay and uh, we need to alias this as average compensation so as average compensation okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having okay so different employee title and average compensation again if we look at it uh this is exactly the same numbers as well and the question does not say us to you know order in a particular manner so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was firstly from sf bonus we calculated since each worker can get more than one bonus so we calculated the total bonus that a worker can get and once we had that then what we did was we merged the information so that we have the salary part as well as the bonus part for various workers at one place then we excluded those uh, workers who don't get any bonus because that is what the question says to exclude them to calculate the average compensation and once we excluded those uh, employees then what we did was simply grouped by the employee title and their genders and calculated the average of the total compensation which is basically the salary plus the bonus part so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video